Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Adam Snyder here with Homemade Entrepreneur. So, I've been getting some questions on, well, pretty much how to package anything. So, uh, what I want to do, these are glass. How do you send in glass? How do you send glass items into Amazon? Wouldn't they break? How do you do it? First thing, you don't send glass in, you don't cover up the, don't cover up the label and send it in just like this. Um, you know, these... Uh, uh, I know you can make a little bit of money. I don't think you can on dollar fifty a piece, um, maybe a little bit. Um, but these are these are items that I don't actually sell. Um, I actually bought these for a barbecue. Anyway, so I had some of these left over, so I want to uh, kind of show you guys what you do. First thing you would do: make sure you have a box that would work for your items. So here's a box I have. So there's two items. They're right there. They're they have space. So this would be a good size box. So I'll take these out. First thing I would do, move that over there. First thing I would do, take a piece of your bubble wrap, put it in the box. Just to kind of give yourself a little bit of uh, protection. Get another piece of bubble wrap, just a square. You're gonna wrap it. Okay. You do that. You wrap it. Put it in there. Okay, so you got one. Let's get the other one. And once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult, and you won't uh, you won't be as worried about sending stuff into Amazon that is glass mainly because you would know how to package it. So those are in there. You can see they're protected a little bit, but they're still loose. You can still move them around. So this is why I always say it's good to have a packing pillow. Um, so these are some that I think I got from, uh, I don't know where I got these from actually, probably some I bought. So put one right in the middle. Okay, still a little loose. Let's get another one, let's put it down. So the top. Okay, so it's in there. It's not going anywhere that way. Not going anywhere that way. Another thing you can do uh, that I've done before is I will take two packing pillows like this. See where there's this little void right here? You can put the two breakable things right there. And so kind of, they're a little bit padded, but they still touch right there in the middle. Um, and then you tape it together. But this has worked for me fairly well. Um, I think there's only been one broken item. I'm not sure if I broke it, uh, or if it was, uh, it was broken when UPS uh, handled it. Don't know. So right there, got that. Another thing you could do, you put more up top. Chances are your box is gonna be too full now. So if you have your own filler and your own uh, pillows you could actually put the amount of air that you need in it or you can get another piece of bubble wrap put it right on top um, or break your pillow up a little bit even, even let some of the air out and tape it back up or let a little bit of air out and seal it there's so many different options but the main thing is just making sure everything is in there good so obviously that's a little too tight so right there so you take it So it's not going anywhere. That would be pretty tight. And that's just a little test I do with pretty much every box. Make sure that's in there good. So um, again, you know, use enough bubble wrap. Put a piece below. I'd probably put a piece on top as well, just in case the box would get get flipped over. Uh, fill the the gaps with either bubble wrap. Um, you can use packing paper. Um, I don't recommend it because it does flatten out a little bit. But use some bubble wrap, use some packing pillows, and put some more bubble wrap on top. Close up your box and make sure you make sure it's nice and tight. Um, don't leave don't leave a gap in there. Don't leave a gap so that you can see if you can see the what the item is in in the box. Um, use some use some box tape. Uh, make sure you get something other than clear tape so that no one can see inside. 
but that is pretty much how I do any breakable item. You just want to make sure that's not going anywhere once once you package it up. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Happy to answer your questions. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that button right there in the middle of your screen. Come on today. I'll see you guys on the next video. Alright, you guys take care.